Hello and hola to my artistic acolytes. Welcome to another astounding session of Creativity Chomps with Mrs. Gregory, our time to learn a little about art history and a little of its application. Now, who is Miss Gregory's favorite artist? Most of my older friends and hopefully some of my younger ones can answer this question. It's Salvador Dali, surrealist extraordinaire. The reason that I resonate so much with Dali is the hyper-realism and the near perfection of his brushstrokes, the sense of wonder and confusion that you get when you look at his works, and just the general sense of insanity that was his aura. Salvador Dali was born in Spain on May 11, 1904. He had a younger brother born nine months before him who was named Salvador II. He unfortunately passed away and our Salvador was told that he was his brother's reincarnation. Now, can you gather how easy it is to understand why he was more than a little abnormal? Dali had a predilection for art from a young age and was encouraged by his parents. His mother passed away from cancer when he was 16, and he said that it was the most difficult trauma of his life. When he was 18, Dali moved to Madrid and studied at the Real Academia de Bellas Artes in San Fernando. He received a lot of attention there for his eccentric nature. He had an appreciation of many artistic styles, including metaphysics and cubism, and Pablo Picasso was a hero of his, and he later did get to meet him. Dali never completed his studies because in 1926, shortly before his final exams, he was accused of starting an unrest. In August 1929, Dali met a woman named Gala, who would become his lifelong and primary muse, inspiration, business manager, and future wife. She was a Russian immigrant 10 years older than him. They married in 1934. Dali was a skilled draftsman, best known for the strange yet hyper-real images of his surrealist work. His painterly skills are often attributed to the influence of Renaissance masters. His best-known work, The Persistence of Memory, was completed in 1931 and is easily one of the most recognizable paintings in the world. Dali did not stick to painting only. His contributions include film, sculpture, and photography, and he collaborated with a range of artists in a wide array of media. Dali was highly imaginative and also enjoyed indulging in odd and flamboyant behavior. His eccentric manner and attention-grabbing public spectacle sometimes drew more attention than his artwork, to the dismay of those who held his work in high esteem and to the irritation of his critics. In 1980, at age 76, Dali started to develop Parkinson-like symptoms, tremors in his hands, thus causing an untimely end to his artistic abilities. His wife Gala died on June 10, 1982, and after her death, Dali lost much of his will to live. On the morning of January 23, 1989, while his favorite record of Tristan and Isolde played, Dali died of heart failure in Fugueras at the age of 84. The legacy he leaves behind can never be duplicated. Who else could say, the only difference between a madman and myself is that I am not mad. <laughs>